Either way, guys. And then slowly. So there's a style of beer called slushy, smoothie, or fruited sour, and they have a tendency to explode. They're not supposed to, and they won't if you keep them under refrigeration, but if you ship a four pack to a person in another state, the beer sits at room temperature for however long it takes to get where it's going, which makes it more likely to pop when it's opened. So why would anyone ship beer across state lines? Enter 450 North. 450 North is a small brewery out of Indiana, and they invented the slushy style sour ale. They have a loyal, almost cult-like following, and from what I understand, it's not uncommon for proxy buyers to resell it for two to three times the asking price to people across the country. 450 North is rare, expensive, and I got some. So before I try these, you may be wondering just what the hell a slushy beer is. Most of these beers begin their life as either a Berliner Weiss or Kettle Sour. And if you don't know what those are, don't worry, it won't be on the test. And then have copious amounts of fruit, fruit puree, or other ingredients added. The fruit particles mostly stay in suspension, so the beer is thick, fruity, and doesn't really taste like beer. First up is Blueberry Muffin XL, and it's conditioned on blueberry, blueberry muffins, and vanilla cream. Now I am pouring two because this beer is so weird, it's bound to trigger different reactions in different people, which makes it the perfect opportunity to bring back everyone's favorite disembodied hand. Audrey, say hello to the internet. Hello, internet. That smell. That smell. Cheers. Cheers. So before I taste it, it's a cool color. Is it like, are these supposed to be thicker? Yeah. Tastes like blueberries. Tastes like a muffin was in that can too. So it tastes like blueberries, but not in the fake tart way that some fruit beers do. But it does have this weird bready thickness. I mean, I guess it's a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple things, this beer is only 5.3%, so it's not very boozy for how expensive it is. And I know I said a minute ago that the fruit particles mostly stay in suspension, but I did get a bit of sediment in this, so I poured it into something larger, gave it a bit of a stir, and re-poured it into these glasses. But yeah, I like this. I, it's kind of a win. Yeah, I mean, it's not like my style of beer necessarily, but I think it's like fun to try. All right, next up is 450 Twisty XXL. It's conditioned on soft serve vanilla ice cream, pineapple, marshmallow, vanilla cookie filling, and cookie butter. That sounds so gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gonna give this a bit of a turn so I don't make the same mistake twice. This color. Cheers. Cheers. You excited about this? Not really. Oh, okay. I get immediately get pineapple. That's all I'm getting, which might be why I like it, because you said like 16 other ingredients and it freaked me out. Soft serve ice cream, marshmallow, vanilla cookie filling, cookie butter. Soft serve, mm, yeah, Dole Whippy. Yes. This is like Dole Whip, and I think that's why I like it. You like this more than the last one? I do, actually. Again, because it reminds me of like a Dole Whip. Beer that tastes like a Dole Whip, and nothing like actual beer. Oh yeah, this one's also 5.3%. So I have to ask, you're obviously not supposed to shake these. No. How would you keep it from being thick? If you wanted to do it right, you would need one of those hot dog rollers that they have at AMPM, but for beers. It'd be refrigerated rods instead of heated rods, and it would just turn the beer cans constantly. That's actually not a bad idea. You should trademark that. Do not steal that internet. You like this one more. I like this one less. No, I like this one more. Also, 450 North Disciples will note that these beers are not from the most recent drop. Sue me, I got what I could get. Last up is Red Velvet Cherry Cheesecake XXL, and it's conditioned on cherry, red velvet cake mix, cream cheese, graham cracker, brown sugar, vanilla, and lactose. Cheers. Cheers. Interesting. I think that's quite nice. The thing is, this has the most ridiculous ingredient list, but... I taste everything compared to the previous two. I mean, except for the first one where it only has three ingredients and obviously you can taste all three. I get cherry, I get red velvet cake mix. I don't really know what that is. It's milk chocolate with food coloring. I get cream cheese. I definitely get graham cracker. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like cheesecake, but not in like a disgusting way. I think this one is the most layered. I would agree with that. The flavors in this one, to me anyway, are the most delicate, but you can still pick them out. I think the last one was a dull wet bomb. But this, you actually, if you sit and you read the ingredients and you, you know, take tiny sips, you can actually get this. You can get all of those ingredients. Yeah, you can pick it out. I'm gonna say it, this one's my favorite. Okay, I might agree with you. No, I do. I do agree with you, actually. There you have it. Oh, and this one is also 5.3%. I get an A plus on research for this video. But yeah, I like this one the most. Mm -hmm. 
for anybody who reads the ingredient list and is like, that sounds bananas and like, I'm not interested in that, I still think it's worth a try because it's different and it's interesting. And while this might not be a beer that I would have picked off the shelf or something, like, I'm happy I tried these. Same. Also, 450 North recently announced that all their slushy beers are shelf stable and will no longer explode. So if you're hoping for that, sorry. So are they worth it? That kind of depends on you. How easy they'll be to find at a liquor store will depend largely on where you live. For legal reasons, I would not recommend buying them from a proxy buyer. But at retail, they can run up to 30 or $40 for one four pack, some for even more. So budget accordingly. As for me, I like them, but I'm not likely to go nuts tracking down future releases. But if you have the money to spend and like trying different things, they're worth the effort. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and uh, thanks for watching.